an autonomous robot is something that, uh, without human intervention, can sense its environment, understand its environment, and combine that with its task, and then perform all the operations it needs to do without uh, human intervention. The Grand Challenge is a robotic race for 210 miles across the desert. Really, this race is not so much a challenge of racing against someone else as racing against the terrain. It's, it's a technical challenge more than a racing challenge. In a way, we're kind of releasing this vehicle into the wild. We, we're not able to follow it in person or, or view it live as it happens. One of the things we're going to do is drive the car over the terrain we read in from our laser scanners. And so as our laser scanners uh, perceive the terrain, we load that into the machine. And the machine does processing on that to figure out uh, a load-bearing service map of that and then drive over it. Real-time physical modeling is very computationally intensive. The more computing power we can throw at it, the more sensors we can analyze and the, the better we understand where we're going, and the more safe and more reliable the robot will be. We have more computing on this vehicle than I've ever had on any robotics project I've ever worked on. We're using three uh, Xeons and we're using an itanium for a lot of the uh, computation intensive planning. And so one of the things we're doing is we're able to split that off into several processes and then see the car driving over at different speeds, different curvatures, different times, uh, different pieces of terrain. That's something we couldn't do if we could have a whole bunch of processing power. Just processing all this data, uh, just collecting it and putting it in one place, takes a significant amount of uh, CPU, which is why we've essentially built a supercomputer cluster on the vehicle. I think the bar is being raised. Technology is definitely being spurred. You know, our own expertise is being challenged. We, 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 we all learn new things every day. Every time we take this vehicle out, or every night when we tear it down and install new electronics or mechanics. Two hours before the race starts, they give us a, a CD with GPS coordinates that we must, must go past within a certain tolerance. And we take those and we load them into our robot. It really kind of becomes its own person, its own entity, with its own thoughts as to what it's going to do. And our goal is to give it as much intelligence as possible and to teach it everything it needs to know in order to come back home to the finish line. I'd like to see our vehicle pull out in front first, move across the desert, take the hairpin turns, kick up the dust behind it, and zoom across the finish line.